I think this is an important moment to really reflect uh, on what does SDG 4.1.1a, um, you know, tell us because the fundamental of it is to encourage and promote foundational learning. If a child is not able to read uh, or do simple maths, uh, they are not able to access the world. We're starting from not having enough data. Demoting this indicator doesn't solve that problem, it further exacerbates it, where maybe funders, implementers, researchers begin to deprioritize foundational literacy and numeracy or tracking that in country. I think what we need is more country ownership of this indicator and the data that we'll be reporting to it. I think that we owe it to our future selves to make sure that everyone, all children, can read. They're literate and they're numerate. They're able to have, they have all the foundational skills that is required for further learning and for, you know, lifelong uh, learning and prosperity. Otherwise, we're creating uh, a problem, you know, for ourselves in the future. So that's the thought and that's what should guide our long-term commitment to um, development goals. Yes, we understand there may be uh, certain gaps in data, but it is important to allow the concerned countries a little more time to generate the data so that this indicator can be maintained. It needs to be maintained at all costs to avoid disenfranchising countries that have been reporting on it for years, but to also avoid disenfranchising the entire global south for whom this is the most important SDG4 indicator. In its absence, uh, they will not find value in SDG4. On our end as a PAL network, we have the commitment to continue improving the citizen-led assessments so that we have a constant supply of data. So it is first a challenge to ourselves as producers of data to make our data of better quality so that it is more acceptable to, uh, for a wide range of users, but also more accessible so that our data sets can be uh, available to those that are compiling data for SDG monitoring. On the other hand, we urge government and all the other people that are producing data that we unite together. We form a movement to safeguard learning because if this SDG 4.11a disappears, then learning really uh, is quashed and is compromised. A child at grade three, 2 and 3, unable to do foundational literacy, numeracy with social emotional learning, is a child stuck for life. We do not want to have those tragedies. We cannot afford to have those tragedies. We know because this is an issue of the global south. And we think that we are robust enough with enough partners around the world who are rallying with us to ensure that every child who's vulnerable and not learning at the foundational learning levels really makes it and makes it well for lifelong learning. So here as a systemic change, we also need to think about systemic solutions, right? It's not only one actor doing this, it's, it's, it's like a, a common uh, effort to, to reach uh, to a proper solution. So it's also how we can empower communities, how we can empower civil societies, organization to act, but take actions that really matter take things that really works for those that really need it. I think the importance of telling stories, the importance also of, of teaching children how to read and write property, it is a powerful tool to keep the story going. And we need that for our children. The situation on learning still needs a lot uh, uh, for us to do. I feel that there's, there's a great importance that we need to put in reaching every child. So whether we are looking at this as one village at a time, one volunteer or facilitator reach, reaching one child at a time, at the end of the day, one child will contribute uh, to the numbers of many, many more children who will acquire uh, basic skills as long as we put in the effort collaboratively uh, as different stakeholders, as parents, as civil society organizations, as governments, as teachers, and even children themselves putting in uh, time to actually ensure that uh, there is acquisition of foundational literacy and numeracy skills. 
for us at PAL Network, safeguarding SDG 411A is safeguarding learning. If we don't have this indicator, uh, it means that we are not going to measure learning early. And if we don't measure learning early, we will not identify the problems on time to solve those problems. We strongly believe that if children cannot read, if they cannot do basic maths, they will not learn other subjects in school, and even they will not learn much more in life. Our network have been uh, engaged in many initiatives to uh, somehow to fill the data gap globally. Uh, this is a collaborative effort of uh, 17 organizations in 15 different countries from the Global South that came together, developed common tools, and engaged to produce comparable data to inform the world on where we are in terms of achievement of SDG 4. We are currently uh, planning to conduct a large-scale assessment on literacy and numeracy in next year, 2025. We also use this opportunity to ask individuals, uh, civil society organizations, donors, and all those who are interested in education to sign our petition to keep SDG 411A in the global framework to monitor foundational learning. This is not just important for the current SDGs. This is important to ensure that foundational learning will continue in the agenda of future sustainable development goals. That's our uh, final ask.